Championship side Birmingham welcomed Premier League opponents Bournemouth to St Andrews. Last season, the Cherries inflicted the heaviest home defeat on the Blues, a colossal 8-0 thrashing. Since then, Gary Rowett has engineered a resurgence and they would prove to be not so compliant this time. It was the visitors, though, who had the first glimpse of goal. Mark Pugh's looping cross, finding Jan Kermagant, who saw his header ricochet off the bar. The rebound easily gathered by a grateful Adam Legsdins. Bournemouth made 11 changes from the team that drew at Leicester last weekend, and Pugh was one of the newcomers determined to make amends. His smart run and shot pushed past the post by Legstins. Just 12 league places separate these two sides, and it was the second-tier team who eventually broke the deadlock five minutes before half-time. David Cotterill's pinpoint delivery headed into the corner by Michael Morrison. The lead didn't last long. Unan O'Kane was bundled over by Jonathan Ground's clumsy challenge. Referee Mike Jones with no hesitation pointing to the spot. Lee Tomlin, a man who impressed for Middlesbrough in last season's FA Cup, used this season's competition to start to repay his new employer's faith and the £3 million fee. His spot kick going straight while Legstins went right. In the second period, Mike Jones was again the centre of attention. Michael Keaton Bell falling spectacularly from O'Kane's challenge. Penalty the verdict. James Vaughan, on loan from Huddersfield, was handed the responsibility. However, he let his side down, blasting over. Jacques Magoma was the next Birmingham player to cause Cherry Hearts to flutter. He caught Bailey Cargill dawdling. His shot rebounding off the post into Andrew Shinney. The ball bouncing off him and onto the post again. John Terrell then sent his shot wide. In teeming rain, Bournemouth found the game's crucial third goal. O'Kane connecting to Steve Cook's cross. In the ensuing melee, Glenn Murray claimed a vital touch. Bournemouth then had a chance to make the game safe. Pugh with another cross. It was Matt Rich's turn to see a header hit the post. Birmingham did have a chance to retrieve the tie, Vaughan hoping to atone for his early miss from the spot, but his shot was beaten away by Adam Federici. Bournemouth threw 2-1 the final score.